In FijiCam 2014 R3, changes have been made to the whole feature to incorporate the option to do thread milling. In this example we have an electrical control box with a series of holes in the top that we wish to machine out the material on the inside followed by a thread mill operation. Now the traditional approach for this would be to create a hole or a side or a pocket to machine the material out followed by a thread mill operation. In this case I'll do a hole, extract the feature recognition, I'll select the holes that I'm interested in and say finish and then get my spot drill and drilling operations and my 3D simulation looks like this. If I go to my next operation, in this case a thread mill, choose next, I'm going to create an internal diameter standard thread M27 by 2 with a thread length of 8 millimeters. Choose next, and I'm going to position this at the center of a pre-created circle. I can accept all the defaults and say finish. I then need to put this thread mill into a pattern itself. So create a pattern, a linear pattern. And in this case we're going to set the number to be 4, the distance to be 35 as per the measurement here. And we'll say we'll do a local offset and preview. Again I can say finish and then replay my 3D simulation to show the sequence. So the improvement we've made is to incorporate the thread mill operation as an option into the hole itself. I'm just going to undo all the way back to the beginning again, show this process as we can do it now. In this case I'm going to go hole, extract the feature recognition. Again I'm going to select the holes that I'm interested in, this will place these into a pattern and say finish. Now if I go to the dimensions you'll see under the hole type if I look at my pull down list I can now see that I have the option to do a thread milled hole. As soon as I select that I can choose from any of my standard threads in this case I'm going to select my M27 by 2 the hole depth is how far the drill is going to go in and then we have the thread depth as to how far we're going to thread mill. In this case I'm going to say apply, say OK and then play that sequence. You can see I get the identical holes with the thread mill operations already pre-created. This makes the process much faster. If we go back to that hole and go to the settings, you'll see under the settings area we've got several new tabs. So you'll see you've got a strategy page which is the page for the hole itself. We also get a thread mill strategy page as well so we can control how we're thread milling in this particular operation. As well as this we can also replicate the pocketing type operation rather than doing a spot drill and drilling operation. You can see here I've got a spot drill and a drill being selected. If I go back to my strategy I can select I want to do a drill mill and in this case I'm going to swap my options. I'm going to turn off the drill to full diameter and say never pre-drill and say apply and this forces it to use an end mill to rough and finish that hole before doing the thread finishing. Again if I play my 3D simulation you'll see we got an end mill coming in machining each of the holes, roughing and finishing before threading like so.